The, just, the judge was acting like a servant to the people. A servant. He <laughs> recognizes that you know what's going on. They've got people reading what you posted on your video about yep. the lawsuit about their misconduct. Now, there's something we're missing, and they know they're in trouble. And uh, the judge, if you act improperly in this case, can become a defendant in your federal lawsuit for participating in a malicious prosecution. And he has no immunity if he does not have jurisdiction. That's why I said you always challenge jurisdiction first thing. So we're going to challenge the jurisdiction by demonstrating, first of all, that uh, McMonkey does not have a valid oath of office. Yes. It's insufficient. Therefore, he does not have official capacity. Therefore, you could not have been obstructing his official duties. And in the alternative, if you try to say that it is valid, which we'll get a quo warranto to demonstrate that it isn't valid, what we'll do is show that you are engaged in constitutionally protected conduct and he knew that you were engaged in constitutionally protected conduct. He has seen you before, he knew you were not a threat, and he chose to harass you as a private citizen. Wow. And that is going to bring uh, criminal charges against him, and also he'll become, uh, uh, he'll become the, the county will come further liable in your federal lawsuit for uh, uh, Fourth Amendment violations. We'll get him for the unlawful arrest, un unreasonable search and seizure, and um, Let's see what else can we get him for. We'll get the prosecutor for malicious prosecution. I would love to get my property back, my cell phone. Okay, well, let's go to the sheriff's office and see if they'll release it. Let's do that. You don't have it. No, they won't give me the... Let's, let's go to the sheriff's office. Where's that? Uh, we got to go around the front. <laughs> so they didn't... Uh, they can't even get in your phone, can they? Well, they have to have a warrant. Yeah. yeah. They haven't done that yet, have they? Okay, the way the law reads is that No, you can't. No, okay. Well, shit. You can stand outside the door, but you can't take anything in there. Wow. You won't even allow your cell phone to. Wow. Okay. Alright, bring it in. Come on, guys. Uh, I guess I'll fat when I, I go in. Is it, is it okay? Bring it in, yeah, bring it in. Uh, do you have. Why don't you tell me, you've got a cell phone here that's yes. being. We just got finished with court and we're here to pick up. Uh, my cell phone that was unlawfully uh, seized. Yeah, um, yesterday, um, you came in here and asked for a, a return of property for him. Okay, um, so the DA is in control of this? Yes, as far as Okay, the phone is in evidence. Where is evidence at? It is here at the sheriff's office. Sure, here at the sheriff's office. Okay, do you have a copy of the warrant that was used to seize the phone? We don't have, we don't have a warrant that was for the phone at the time he was arrested and was then placed into, into evidence. 
do you okay? Do you have a copy of the warrant that was used to seize it? You know, according to federal law and state law, that he has two hours to secure a warrant after he's taken the property without a warrant. And if he hasn't, then it must be returned. Otherwise, you've got a Fourth and Fourteenth Amendment violation that's caused for action under Title 42, Section 1983, for all parties who chose to keep the property without lawful authority. So, is there somebody in specific you'd like us to talk to? I'm not turning it off, I'm going outside. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll go outside the building, ma'am. No need to raise your voice, ma'am. Quit raising your voice, ma'am. We're here on official business. So, who would you suggest? We don't want to wouldn't surprise you, me if they send people out here and arrest all of us. There's no phones in here. You don't have a warrant. So, no so warrant is issued. Okay, Carbo. All right. Um, who accepts service for the Sheriff's Department for federal lawsuits? No, you're fine. Yes. Okay. Did the sheriff himself or, um, what happened to the sheriff? We need to link up with the DA because if they don't have a warrant, they can't hold the phone. No, I know. That's what we're going to go. Oh, she's in court. The sheriff's in court and the DA's oh, in court. Okay. Yeah. Then okay. I guess we can wait. We're very tell them in court. Wait. Just without, you know, offending anybody, how, do you know how long the DA, well, have, well you don't know anything about the court. You're just handling the sheriff. Okay, ma'am. Uh, can I get your name? You're just dispatching your name is? Okay, and you have an employee number? Okay, and uh, you regularly work Monday through Friday? Okay, ma'am, thank you very much and have a nice day. Okay, we'll have it drafted up today and we'll get the file. We need to get that cell phone back. They just okay. said they didn't have a warrant. There's no warrant for the phone. Are you going to go back in? Yeah. Got we're going to find out how long court's in session. Well, we're going to see if we can't get the phone back, but we're going to let this man do the talking. He's yeah. a professional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a professional gets paid. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice guy. We're going to try to get the phone back. <laughs> <laughs> the DA. He's there. We're looking at titles. I'm like, holy crap. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, where has he been the whole life? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, not I don't know who this guy is. Yeah, I'm guessing he's an obligation. Yeah. I think he knows there's a lot hinging on this, and uh, it's a very public and he's in the limelight as well. Does that seem like y'all's idea that the judge is totally here's different? His back, here's yeah. Court, basically, basically. Him, defense, you're probably yeah. Win. yeah. Basically, told him keep things together and do it right. Yep. So you can win. Sounded like he was in his corner the whole time. He was afraid of that. <laughs> Which, if the judge does everything right, he has nothing to be scared of. True. He can't be sued anyway, can he? If he does wrong. He can be sued if he does wrong, but if he doesn't, he does right. He's just good. good. Yeah. Yeah, that was crazy. Kind of 
I over the same I kind of overdid it that day. Yeah. Like yeah. I didn't need an army here <laughs> for scary. like a few people. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty crazy. I don't know if what exactly they're doing in here, but security I guess I'll go in and get security in. Hello, can we set this over there? Again? Yep. Yeah, okay. Okay. Thank you. I have no idea what floor they just went to. I don't know where they just went. <laughs> the stairs too. Oh yeah. Yeah, let me know what we need to do. That's pretty cool. They're ready to do it. I mean, they still want to go there, so they want to go there. Yeah. yeah. Probably, there's, I think, only three floors here, maybe. I think. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, there might only be two. We're the rich people. Because <laughs> they take all the money. Absolutely. We didn't go anywhere. What happened? We broke. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot more of this last time, so no, it didn't break in. There we go. He said, hold up. He was outside. Or something. We're trying to figure out who they're with. Fred, there's something weird going on. There's some guys here. There's some state police or FBI or, or, or state level agencies like the uh, OSBI. What's that? I don't think that that's who they are. You mean the guys that just walked past us? Yeah, those. I think that's. Uh, they're, they're from. They they're from Guyman. I know who they are. The they just left. The, guy, the, the young guy in the black suit, skinny, kind of skinny. Uh, I think there was a chase going on in there. I don't know, but it seemed like he was. If they're all entered into the court. I don't know what he was wearing. I don't know. He they went ahead and left. Yeah, they. I think they walked out. They walked out and left. Yeah. And maybe with. No. Okay, property might be a civil matter, or are you uh, talking no, about I, property and yeah, seized property? Yeah, well, we went over to the sheriff's office to get back some property. And they advise us that there is no warrant. So that's why we're needing to speak with the DA so that they can warrant. release it. There's got to be a warrant for them to seize property. And since yeah, there they, isn't a warrant. We've only got two hours after the after the seizure of property. I, to, you're talking to the wrong person because I'm not Anyway, lawyer. let's, can I get a card from her? They said the DA said to hold it. This reason why they come yeah, out. but there's no warrant to hold it. So that's why. Well, we, she, she's not the one gotcha. making the yeah. decision. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I just don't have any, yeah, I mean, you can come back here. I don't have a get. We'll come back, we'll come back. Do you yeah. know when she'll be uh, out of court? I don't know. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Bye-bye. <laughs> we need to know. Um, 
Hmm. We're going to have to do it in writing. So I'll draft something up, uh, and I'll have some case law to support it. And if she chooses beyond that to continue to hold it, it's at her own peril. Oh, man. I just want to hang on it. Sometimes. I just, it took me a week and a half to get this abducted child back to the table. Jeez. I'll tell you what happened. We've been in the sheriff's office. Let's go over to Sheriff Patrick's phone. Sit down. And basically, they, they, they don't have a warrant to hold his room. phone. If they don't have a warrant, they should release it. So that's what's going on here. But they're all in court right now, and we may have to wait until they get out of court to deal with them. Did they say anything to you in the court? Oh, no, no, no. I just trying to find out when court ended, and they said, we got 10 defendants, it's 10 o'clock, blah, blah, blah. And I'm telling you, like, the way they treated this other guys, I'd be filing a complaint with the judicial review order. I saw you shaking your head, Fred. Huh? I saw you shaking your head. Oh, God, I was, Fred, I was, Fred is disappointed. Wait, so where are we going to? Anyone? Appreciate you guys. Be safe. Y'all have a good day. Be well. All right, you too, buddy. Appreciate you. Hope you have a great, happy new year. Work release. <laughs> All right. The restaurant they were at earlier. All right. Well, I don't. I don't know where the hell I parked. I'm on the other side. I think I am too. Yeah. your rights and and we're gonna do this for you and you know I, i'll make sure and he said and he says well how would you like to please and, and patrick did well he said i just got the uh, my papers today my information which is a complaint in most states uh and he says uh, i'd like to review this with counsel and i said he said i just need 24 hours and the judge said well how about 30 days would that be enough time for you come back on february 13th and uh we'll go ahead and uh Go from there because we want to make sure that you are given every opportunity to address this because we know your rights are involved and I think he knows that it's constitutionally protected conduct to be video, in, uh, video recording in public or photographing in public in a public place and that the officer overstepped his bounds. So I think what they're doing is giving us an opportunity to file at least a judicial notice or an immediate uh, motion to dismiss, which we will have done. So that's what happened. Awesome. Kudos to Patrick. Yeah. You did awesome. Yeah. Buddy. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> 700 mile drive was was worth it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. But anyway, Patrick, uh, you did a great job. And the nice thing is, is even when Patrick was uh, going through the unlawful arrest, um, he was still respectful to the officer. And it's the officer who actually uh, lost his composure, and um, you now he's going to pay a price for it because there's a federal action. So once this thing, we should, uh, I think what we'll do is get everything done to have this thing dismissed early. Um, for those of you, I don't know if we're on video or what we're doing here, but yeah. we're, live. we're live. People are watching and they're commenting back, they're asking who you are. How many people do you have live? I have you may get some work, guys. 500, how many? 500 people watching me. Yeah, if you want to say your name, who you are, what you do. Okay, my name's Fred, and what I've done is I've been uh, assisting people with uh, legal actions, anything civil or criminal for the last 10, 11 years. And I do this just kind of to help people. And uh, we've, uh, we've won over 11,000 cases and we haven't really lost anything yet. And what we do is we help people all the way from simple things all the way up to federal lawsuits. And um, we don't like to lose. So if your rights are involved, uh, you first of all, and I'm gonna say this to all these people since we're live and people are listening. Number one is this, is if you're gonna, if you're gonna say that you know it's First Amendment, it's, con it's constitutionally protected conduct, you should be able to recite the First Amendment. And it just starts out, you know, the First Amendment is, you know, Congress shall make no establishment of religion or abridge the free exercise thereof, or of the press, or freedom of speech, or the right of the people peaceably to assemble, or the right of the people to redress their grievances against the government. And then beyond that, you need to know some case law that supports that specific amendment. And you go through all of them, and like the Fourth Amendment. When you're dealing with this auditing situation, you're dealing with the First, the Fourth, and the Fourteenth Amendments. Okay, the Fourth Amendment is the, uh, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unru unreasonable searches and seizures. And no warrant shall issue, which means that they, if they're going to violate your Fourth Amendment right, they must do so with a valid warrant, not just a warrant, the warrant must be valid, 
And no warrant shall issue, but upon oath or affirmation, they must swear and attest to the probable cause statement of a crime. Okay, and it must state with particularity the places to be searched and the items of persons to be seized. It's not a general warrant. You can look up Grove versus Ramirez. It's one of the best cases. Another one's Murray versus United States, which is relatively recent. So know what you're talking about. Know your rights, and don't don't get gummed up and mucked up. Don't provoke people. They're people too, but if they're not in their official capacity, they're people. But they keep thinking that they have official capacity all the time, and they don't. So anyway, uh, Patrick's got a great uh, uh, Title 42, Section 1983 lawsuit we drafted up, and uh, I think the judge did today. He's giving Patrick every opportunity to move towards dismissal because uh, the judge, I can tell by his demeanor, and I've been in hundreds of courtrooms, the judge, you can tell by his demeanor, is saying, this is a hot potato, I want it out of my courtroom, so please do what you have to do to get this out of my effing court. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do, we'll draft up everything. We'll get a dismissal. We'll get a dismissal, because first of all, uh, the officer, he has an insufficient oath of office, which means he doesn't have official capacity, which we can go over another time, uh, therefore he cannot have any official duties being obstructed. And then we can go beyond that. So we're going to work on that and getting Patrick's phone back. So anyway. Awesome. All right. So we're going to go back Thank to you. the restaurant. Yeah, we're going to go back to the restaurant. Oh, we'll deep, deep deep. Hang out, guys. And, we're uh, up here. And OKC, yes, I'm going to get you a copy of that brief from the uh, U.S. Department of we'll Justice. We'll meet you over there. OK, um, civil litigator. And I'll show it to you over here at the, at the restaurant. Yeah, at OKC. Okay, right, I appreciate that. Uh, we'll look at it, because you said you think I've got several cases. Uh, Dude, you have open and closed cases. Now, your particular case, this is the wonderful thing about videoing because you don't provoke anybody. Um, you act very courteously and respectfully. And for this officer to come up to you and you're just recording and you honored what they requested at the library, for this guy in his official and public capacity, and it's allegedly because we don't know officially who he is. That's why you always, 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 number one, when you encounter a public worker, you pull their oath of office. Now, if they don't have an oath of office, like a court clerk or somebody, the people that work underneath them, they have a supervisor, they work under a supervisor. So you get their supervisor's oath, oath of office. But no one can work for the government without being under uh, a supervisory oath of office or having their own specific oath of office. And all law enforcement in this country are required to have a specific oath of office. And it's governed and controlled by the statute and how it's supposed to be drafted up and how it's supposed to be filed and signed and sworn. It's all in there. It says sworn and subscribed and notarized by a proper person and filed with the proper person within the government. So if they don't have that, they don't have official capacity. And again, the second thing is this, is if they're not on duty, they don't have official capacity. Okay, that was a case up in St. Peter's, Missouri, where a police officer pulled a kid over uh, 20 minutes before he was on duty. And it went all the way up and they argued it. And I think it was uh, whatever that uh, circuit is up there. They said, the officer may have been wearing the uniform, but he was not on duty. He did not have official capacity, could not have issued a citation. Therefore, the citation is bad, bad reversed and remanded for uh, further rulings on this judgment. Okay. So anyway, just interesting stuff. Now, it's real simple. The one thing about all the laws and everything that, that we have, we the people, through representative legislation and legislators, we create the laws. And they're for us, of the people, by the people, and for the people. And so that's why if, if people run into situations by um, public officials getting out of control, it's because the people haven't been doing their job. Now, that doesn't mean we have the right to get crazy. And by the way, anytime you hear a public official say this, regretting rights, they say, well, I have the right to do this. No, you don't. You have limited delegated authority, legislated through the statutes, to perform certain duties. Yep. Rights are God granted, and when you're in official capacity, you don't have that. You right. waive those rights to be in official capacity. True. Right. So, without going on a further dissertation about that, I'll just say, you know, somebody say, oh, 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 you want to argue with me? Let's, you know, I'll give you a dissertation in private. Okay. But anyway, just so you know that stuff, we'll go to, we'll go to the restaurant. Awesome. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Hit me the link. On oh, that. did okay. I? Yeah, you've got open and closed cases, by the way. Okay. Good. So good. Open and closed. The guy had no authority to do what he did. That's he posed true. no threat, and he said, you're not gonna film me, you son of a bitch, I'm gonna kick your ass. Yeah, I know. I was like, okay, and then he jumped you. 
Yep. Okay, that's an assault and battery, and if he's in official capacity, that's why we got to pull his oath of office, make sure he's, he's on duty. He's retired. He is retired. But he's wearing a uniform. Security. He was wearing the OCPD uniform. Yeah, he's screwed. He he's screwed. He presented himself as an officer, that's all yep. you need. So, Impressive. I just say yeah. toast time <laughs> with jelly. It'll work. It'll work. <laughs> all right, we're going to head back. All right. This will go where the cars are. You were here last time? Yeah. You, you yeah. see all those yeah, people driving by oh, cussing? Oh, God. Like, fuck you. Yeah, I'm surprised. Uh, they haven't done it yet here, but. Yeah, my truck's over there. <laughs> so you're from like around, you said Dumas? Yeah. Cool. Oh really? Yeah. So did I. Did you? Five years or about five years. It's on the kill floor for most of that time. Oh, I did that for a few days and then I was like, ah, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It's it doesn't you can't get that smell out of your house, your car. I mean, it's just everywhere. It sucked. Yeah, I was at. Uh, when I worked at the plant, I was the one who uh, killed the pigs, like the gas machine. I'd put them down in there. And so I was with them when they were still alive. And shit, every day I'd have to, like, I mean, immediately throw my clothes in the washer and then take a shower. And still, it was still all in my house. I was like, <laughs> not good. I'm not sure if I'm going to go to that restaurant. I may just go home. I think I'm going to go. Uh, uh, I don't know. My buddy owns his company in, in Dalhart. He's got some work he's wanting to do, so I'm gonna make up there. Cool. Try to do some right carpentry on. work with him. Get some get some money going. Right, right. on. Do you, have, you do you have like uh, do you post videos on YouTube or anything like I that? Don't, man. I don't yeah. Know. I'm I, it when it comes to that stuff. I so. do, but I don't have any of like this kind of channels. this kind of stuff. I do like I just post funny shit mainly. I'm the same. <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah, I don't, yeah. I'm not that involved in it. Yeah. I just don't well, know the, uh, I don't know how. If you, if you just look up my name, you, you can watch this video. Uh, it would be Israel D. Herrera. Okay. Just it, it should it won't be up there. Um, it'll probably be up tomorrow. So yeah, if you want to look me up, you on Facebook too? I'm not actually. <laughs> I don't blame. Yeah, Facebook's kind of waste my time. Yeah, yeah. It does, I don't need that shit. <laughs> All right. But anyway, hey, it was say, nice man. to meet you, man. You too, man, okay. take yeah, take it easy. You too. Go smooth, but it did. Yeah, he was he was kind of being a little rude to the other yeah. people, but as soon as you got up there, it was like, yeah. you look nice today, young man. That's what I said. <laughs> so, and then here's the funny thing, guys. Are you recording? Yes. Okay. The DA who was in there was Abigail Marie Cash. The DA who filed charges against me was uh, James, James Boring. Boring. It was James Boring. So I was a little confused because the DA who filed charges wasn't actually there. Yeah. Um, but were you recording when I went in the sheriff's office? Yes, okay. yes, I was. The dispatch admitted to us they had no warrant to take the phone to begin with. Right. So how are they holding it right now? We'll see if the DA can confer that. Yeah. The dispatcher not, might not know shit. Well, it would have <laughs> been, it would it would I would have got a copy of the warrant with the complaint form. With the complaint. <laughs> with the yeah. statement. When I did open records request, there was no warrant. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Harley Weir was in there. What do you guys, what's the plan for Well, we're, we're going to get something to eat, kind of chat it out, and then when they get done with court, we'll go see the DA. Okay. Get the phone back. What time do you think we'll be out of here? Right on. Uh, by one or so? Yeah, something like that. We're going to be at work tomorrow. So, yeah. Uh, 10, 10, 10. That's how I get money in my pocket. You got to let, what time do you start? Six. Oh, uh, yeah. Be yeah. Six. I think you'll be back by then. We'll be out of here by see, one. Look, I'm going to 14 bucks now. Where's all your money, man? Where's all your money? I got $20. <laughs> I got like $10. <laughs> yeah, like... So, yeah, hey, maybe Fred will buy lunch. I'm very worried about getting that. Getting that uh, 
what you call it. Tips will help. Where, where are you from? Do you live here? I live in Guymon. Guymon? Yeah. Oh, I've heard Guymon is a good... Has anyone hit the PD or the... I haven't seen anybody hit yeah, anybody. I didn't do that. I, you, I figured you you would have already been there. Well, I'm, I'm, it's, <laughs> it's on the list. I just haven't got to it. Yeah. Nothing else. I, there is, I mean, from they from what they know about what happened here, they're probably they're probably not going to do anything stupid. Yeah. They know they know what happened here and just let you walk around and be gone. Yeah. I mean, I think they have some pretty good officers over there. So. Yeah, I haven't been over there, so I didn't know. Yeah. yeah they're pretty nice. Hey, John. John. Are you buying lunch? Are you buying lunch? No. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm about to take off too. You know my nope. Oh Lord. <laughs> Poor John. I didn't get no money, John. Poor John. I have my gun, I can get your money. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hey Fred, you know what I realized? I was like, when I first saw you, I was like, he looks so familiar. Reagan. What does he look like? You look like Ronald Reagan. Like the spitting women. Uh, <laughs> I like Ronald Reagan. That's something to be proud of, actually. <laughs> you better slow her down there, Hoss. There's a oh. speed limit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, so I was thinking we, uh, when we get down here, if they're done with court, Let's maybe we can get we can talk to the DA because they got to walk out their doors. I went my phone. Well, I'll tell you what. Okay, I'll be honest with you. I, you I don't did, have pictures of Selena on there, right? Kitty I know. I don't have any pictures of me. I appreciate. I I have some porn on there. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> don't we all? I just I don't know. <laughs> you have something insane on there. I love the hat. There's nothing on the phone. I love the hat, Jim. Let me see your hat. Make them cry again. Oh, Twenty twenty. Telling me that you're That's not allowed awesome. to photograph public or uh, private property, but I was on the easement, so I can do that. Well, we actually can file. A, we can file an action against them right away and, and uh, get a demand for return. Property. Can we do that? Can yeah. we get that? Because I want to get that. I want a uh, return of property. I want all that. I want well, them to see it. Well, that's something we can also make a statement to the judge. How, how would we go I'm going to tell you that? something. Well, well, let's see here. I'll, I'll look at the statutes for Oklahoma. Uh, if somebody doesn't return your property, then what you do is we can file a, uh, we can file a civil action against them and, and ask for a speedy ruling from the court. Yeah. But it's already in your federal lawsuit, too. So we already asked for, you know, immediate return well, of the property. Well, I mean, how long is that going to take? Well, the, one of the things, well, here's the problem for them. Okay, go ahead. Well, what I'm going to say is this: is that if they continue to hold it, this is why you have to do everything. It's more money, man. More money. Cha ching. Oh. <laughs> no, it is. It's because they're what they're doing is they're acting with deliberation. Once you notify, see, there's this the whole thing about the law is is um, is lawful notification uh, through due process and opportunity to respond. And what that means is that, you know, you give them notice, usually in writing, give them notice in writing, let them know the circumstances and your, your argument, and then they get an opportunity to respond back to you. Now, we can give them like five days or 10 days or something like that. You know, we can even be more aggressive if we want to. But that's the best way to handle it. And the one thing I do want to say is that, you know, these people, are, you know, they're, they're doing their jobs, so-called. And as long as they, you know, they act with respect to the people who they swore to serve to protect, I mean, we're all good. But, you know, some of these people, as, as we say, I've seen them harassing these people and trying to make fun of them. And uh, I've had a couple people, they said, here, you know, the, the, this is what happened to me. I got arrested. I said, well, let me see your videos. I look at their videos and say, you know what? You deserve to be arrested. Right. That like judge, yeah. he was a little mean to some of the guys. That judge right there, I would have filed an immediate um, complaint with the Judicial Review Board of Oklahoma. I don't make complaints about him. What he did to that one kid, threatening him, the social security number is not required and is not usable as identification. Yeah. Right. And to demand that, that's a violation. I think it's a you know United States Code Title 
28 maybe, whatever it is for the Social Security Act. It's not to be used for identification, and they uh -oh. cannot require you to produce it or give it. Yeah, hmm. I wonder if he wanted because he thought wow. it was illegal or something. I think no, so. He was, he was, he was inflicting his power. Well, I'm the judge. I got the power. No, that's, that's, yeah. that's improper. Yeah. The judge is supposed to be a neutral, yes, I can hold neutral third-party arbiter. Right. Is the judge supposed to sit there and go, okay, that's well, it's pretty good to everybody. If somebody's being unruly, yeah, step down on them. I'm all for that. Right. I don't like people being disruptive or, or arguing or causing problems or anything like that. Well, there's homie the clown. Was that big man? No, no. Who's that? No, that's that other short guy with the beet red face. Uh, <laughs> he's driving like this. <laughs> was he looking? He's a gangster. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to see. Everybody's going, who's that guy? That's fine. I said, man, I'm just some white guy. <laughs> that's, that's Reagan's cousin. <laughs> I'll, 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 my deal is this: is that you know we're here to protect the harmony and prosperity of our country, all of us. Yeah. And nobody has more authority over any person than you know we have over ourselves. So if somebody yeah. just tries to get in a pissing match with it, or they try to escalate things, or they try to you know stick their chest out and act like they're more than they are. You know, I have a problem with that. Yeah. And I just say, well, you may want to read the law. I'm not reading any law. Oh, okay. Well, don't read the law, but I'm going to give you a letter. I always start with a letter to put them on notice. And I say, okay, you got 10 days to respond. And one of the things I say, this is one of my favorite paragraphs in my letters. When you have to respond to this within 15 days or 10 days, whatever the time is. And just say, please cite the law that grants you um, lawful authority to deny somebody your protection when their rights are being being violated with your knowledge or in your presence. Yeah, I'm going down to Otasco, I'll be right back. Yeah. Where are you going? Otasco. Where's that? Right there. Oh, okay. It's the last one in we'll be in, We'll be inside. Yeah, I'll be back. Uh, we'll right. look around the uh, So you, do you, do you not want to go back? Or? No, we can. We can. 